with millions being pumped into infrastructure developments year in year out by the national government much of the actual work is yet to be seen or does not meet expectations this is millions of kina wasted in projects around the country the breakfast talk organized by the png institute of engineers saw new zealand company smith bridge giving an insight on cross-cutting measures on building solutions Speaker Albert Smith told building engineers the ECI method or early contractor involvement has been the success behind the company in building major infrastructures in Guam, New Zealand, New Caledonia and soon to be PNG. ECI contract is a contract where we agree on a service, we agree on a fee, it's usually a lump sum fee and we sign up an arrangement whereby as a contractor we'll provide a deliverable to the client. So Organizer Noel Mobiha from the Institute of Engineers says the ECI concept is very much applicable for the government of PNG as it bridges cost and transparency. Yeah, I, I see a lot of room for API, uh, ACI, uh, because the fact of the matter is that it builds up uh, transparency. You know, we're talking about good governance. This is one of the good governance procedures that we could actually apply in terms of high value project costs. The breakfast was attended by engineers from building and construction companies, Department of Transport, Department of Works and government agencies like PNG Ports, NAC, PNG Air Service, PNG Power and NICTA. Smith Bridge Group is a subcontractor to Hawkins in constructing the first flyover in PNG. Jack LaPava Jr., National MTV News.